Now you mentioned the Senate Majority Leader by name on in, in your speech. What was the, the rationale for that? Uh, the rationale was that this has been basically his his baby, and and we're very grateful for the work that he's done on the Monterey Scholarship. It's blessed thousands of New Mexicans, but he doesn't own the scholarship. This is the legislative scholarship, and it's not a Republican scholarship. It's not a Democrat scholarship, and we as a body decided with a lot of feedback from students that the front-loading approach was not a good idea mm -hmm. and so we modified it to be equitable and fair and uniform for all students. Um, some of the uh, Senate members and the Senate passed it in the three minutes left I believe. Um, some, some of the Senate members said they objected to the fact that you brought uh, Senator Sanchez's name up. Um, do you have any regrets about that or is that just part of the legislative no, I just, back and forth? I just wanted to I wanted to be completely honest. I knew a lot of my, I knew most of my colleagues completely agreed with the amendment. But they were scared for retribution. And, and, and honestly, we're up here to represent our constituents and what's right for the state. And if I never get another bill out of the Senate, I know I've done the right thing. Would have uh, enough courage to stand up when the governor tells him he has to do something, and uh, uh, send a message to her uh, in terms of being independent. I think uh, that would be the courageous thing to do if if he were really serious about sending messages when the governor tells them to do something and they just do it because <laughs> because they're they're told to do it that's the courageous move if you want to send a message representative send it up to the governor you don't have to send a message to me I'm pretty fair about everything I do on our floor and I'll continue to be fair regardless of what he says or not some of the Senate Democrats were had some heartburn over the fact that he mentioned Michael Sanchez by name in his closing remarks well, I, I think maybe a, a freshman uh, mistake, but, uh, you know, we try to keep things from being personal uh, in the legislative process, and we try to refer to people by the area that they represent and, and not uh, calling people individually. But, uh, you know, I think what was said was said in a respectful manner, and, uh, you know, it... It'll play out. And Representative Harper mentioned Senator Sanchez by name um, when this thing went through the House. Did that give you some heartburn? Yes, it does. I, I think we don't go, I don't think we get personal. And I think we don't do that. Uh, first of all, Representative Harper is a great member. I mean, he's taken on some of the biggest issues. He does it with a high level of intelligence. We really appreciate it. He ended up being our freshman of the year, tongue in cheek, but he's a lot of fun. Um, he worked hard on this issue. He worked hard on a lot of issues, some of the tax issues. He's respected on both sides of the aisle. Oh, it's, uh, we're required to have a hard stop at noon. And so it is a little bit like a, a pile up on the highway. You know, you've got hundreds of bills waiting and all of a sudden you have to move things fast if you're gonna move anything at all. And that's why I think you see all or nothing. You either see a filibuster, which stops everything, or you see folks saying, nope, we gotta get these few things done. And that's why there's sort of an agreement in the chamber to move fast.